Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers how to keep students from rejoining a Meet after you have left, or entering a Meet before you have joined, as well as other tips. When it comes to using Google Meet in schools for video conferencing, it is understandable for schools to not want students to be able to join a Meet when a teacher is not there, and also for students not to be able to rejoin the Meet after the teacher has left. Thankfully, Google has provided an option to manage this. Now, this video is to show teachers how to do this, but be aware there are some settings that your tech administrators will need to adjust before this will work. I have made a separate video just for the tech admins on how to keep students from starting or recording a meet, which can be found with all the rest of the videos in this series at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meet videos. Now, assuming that your tech folks have adjusted the settings that they need to change, here's how you, as a teacher, can keep students from joining a meet before you or after you have left the meeting. The key to this is using what Google calls a nickname when creating your meet. Normally, there are several ways to create a meet, including with a Google Calendar event or by letting meet create a 10-letter join code or web link for you. However, neither of these methods can be used if you want to prevent students from being in the Meet without you. For example, if you create a Meet through Google Calendar, or if you let Meet generate a link or 10-letter code for you, then students will be able to use the code or link to join the Meet anytime they wish, including before you have started the Meet and after you have left the Meet. Instead, you need to create the Meet with a nickname. Here's how that works. First, go to the Google Meet website as normal. You can click on the waffle button and choose Google Meet, or you can simply go to the Meet website at meet.google.com. Once you are there, now click the spot to join or start a meeting. Now, type in a nickname for your meeting. This can be anything you would like and will be what you give your students so they can join your Meet. The important thing is to make the nickname something that is unique to your school. For example, if you and another teacher use the same nickname, then you'll both end up inside the same Google Meet. For this reason, your school should choose a pattern to follow for the nicknames, such as teacher name and class period, like Kurtz 3 for my third period class. You can decide on the nickname you will use and give that to your students anytime you want, but they will not be able to use it until you start the meet. For example, even though I've decided to use Kurtz 3 for the nickname, I have not started the meet yet. Let's switch over to a student to try it out. Even though I told them what the nickname will be, when a student tries to use it, they get an error saying you're not allowed to start a meeting. So when you use a nickname to create a meeting, students cannot get into the meet until you have started the meeting. Now let's go back over to the teacher view. As soon as I click the continue button, then the meeting will officially be started. Even though I have not clicked the join now button, the meet is actually live now and the students can use the nickname to join. Because of this, you should click the join now button rather than waiting on this screen. Now, just to demonstrate this, let's switch back over to the student and see if we can join the meet with the nickname now. And there we go. As you can see, the meet is actually live and the student could join. So let's come back over here to our teacher view and we will go ahead and click the join now button as the teacher so that the students are not in there without us. At this point, we can run the Hangout Meet as normal, providing a lesson, having a meeting, answering questions, presenting our screen, and more. However, when it is time for the Meet to be over, we need to make sure all the students leave the Meet before we do. We can simply wait for all the students to disconnect, 
or if needed, you can remove a student by going up to the top right hand corner and clicking on the people button and then finding the students who have not left, clicking on the down arrow next to each student and then clicking on the remove button. Once all of the students have left the meet, you can then safely disconnect as well. So let's see what happens if a student tries to rejoin after everyone has left and you have left too. If the student tries to rejoin the meeting using the same nickname and you are not in the meet, they will get the same error as when they tried to connect before you are not allowed to start a meeting. However, what if the student took note of the web address or the 10 letter code for the meet? Well, if they tried to connect with either of those, they'll get a different error saying the meeting code you entered doesn't work. In short, if you use a nickname to create a Google Meet, students cannot join the meet before you start the meet and they cannot rejoin the meet after you have left. Also note that you do not have to come up with a new nickname for each time you meet with your students. Instead, you can use the same nickname over and over again anytime you want to meet with them. For example, my students could know that Kurtz3 is the nickname to use anytime we have a meeting because they are in my third period class. As far as giving this nickname to your students, you can do this in any number of ways, including a post in your Google Classroom stream or in an email, in a shared Google Doc, on your class website, or more. Please note, nicknames only work with accounts from your own school, so people cannot join your Meet with the nickname if they're using a personal Gmail account or an account from a different school district. Your students need to be using their school-provided Google account to join your Meet using the nickname you have chosen and shared with them. So those are the basics for how to keep students from joining or rejoining a Google Meet without you. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.